When Chapman Billies leave the street and Druthy neighbours neighbours meet, as market days are wearing late and folk begin to tack the gate, while we sit boozing at the nappy and getting foo and unca happy, we think more on the long Scot smiles, the mosses, water, slats and styles that lie between us and our hame where sits our sulky, sullen dame gathering her brows like gathering storm, nursing her wrath to keep it warm. This truth found honest Thomas Shanter as he frae air I night did canter. Old air, wham ne'er a town surpasses for honest men and bonny lasses. O oh, Tam! Hadst thou but been so wise as tame my ain wife's Kate advice, she told thee, weel, thou was a skellum, a blethering, blustering, drunken blellum, that frae November till October I mark it day thou was na sober, that ill come melder with a miller, thou sat as lang as thou had siller, that every nag was cad a shoe on, the smith and thee got roaring foo on, that at the Lord's house, even on Sunday, thou drank with Kurt and Jean till Monday, she prophesied that later soon thou would be found deep drowned in Dune, or catched with warlocks in the murk by Alloway's old haunted Kirk. Ah, gentle dames, it gars me greet to think how many counsels sweet, how many lengthened sage advices the husband frae the wife despises. But to our tale, I mark it night, Tam had got planted uncle right, fast by an ingle blazing finely, with reaming swats that drank divinely, and at his elbow, suitor Johnny, his ancient trusty Druthy crony. Tam loved him like a vera brother. They had been foo for weeks together. The night drave on with sangs and clatter, and I, the ale, was growing better. The landlady and Tam grew gracious, with favours secret, sweet and precious. The suitor told his queerest stories, the landlord's laugh was ready chorus. The storm without might rare and rustle, Tam didn't mind the storm a whistle. Care mad to see a man say happy, in drowned himself among the nappy, as bees flee hame with lades o' treasure, the minutes wing their way with pleasure. Kings may be blessed, but Tam was glorious, o'er all the ills o' life victorious. But pleasures are like poppies spread, you seize the flower, its bloom is shed, or like the snow falls in the river, a moment white then melts forever. Or like the Borealis race that flit till you can point their place. Or like the rainbow's lovely form vanishing amid the storm. No man can tether time nor tide. The hour approaches Tam Mon Ride. That hour, o oh night's black arch the key stain, that dreary hour he mounts his beast in, and sick a night he tacks the road in, as ne'er poor sinner was abroad in. The wind blew as twad blawn its last, the rattling showers rose on the blast, the speedy gleams, the darkness swallowed loud, deep and lang, the thunder bellowed. That night a child might understand, the deal had business on his hand. Well mounted on his grey mare Meg, a better never lifted leg. Tam scalp it on through dub and mire, despising wind and rain and fire, whiles holding fast his good blue bonnet, whilst crooning o'er some old Scot sonnet, whilst glowering round with prudent cares, lest bogles catch him unawares. Kirk Alloway was drawing nigh, where ghosts and howlets nightly cry. By this time, he was cross the ford, where in the snow the chapman smoored, and past the burks and meekle stain, where drunken Charlie Braxneck bane. 
and throw the winds and buy the cairn where hunters fanned the murdered bairn. And near the thorn aboon the well where Mungo's mother hanged her cell. Before him, Doon pours all his floods. The Dublin storm roars through the woods. The lightnings flash from pole to pole. Near and more near, the thunders roll. When, glimmering through the groaning trees, Kirk Alloway seemed in a breeze. Through Ilka bore, the beams were glancing and loud resounded mirth and dancing. Inspiring bold John Barleycorn, what dangers thou canst make us scorn. With Tipney we fear the evil, with Escobie we'll face the devil. The swats he reamed in Tammy's noddle, fair play he carried a deals a bottle, but Maggie stood right sair astonished, till by the heel and hand admonished, she ventured forward on the light, and vow, Tam saw an unco sight, warlocks and witches in a dance, nay coty old Brent knew frae France, but hornpipes, jigs, traspays and reels put life and metal in their heels. A winnock bunker in the east, there sat old Nick in shape of beast, a towsy tyke, black, grim and large, to gee the music was his charge. He screwed the pipes and girt them skill, till roof and rafters ah did dull. Coffins stood round like open presses that shod the dead in their last dresses, and by some devilish cantrip slight, each in its cold hand held a light by which heroic Tam was able to note upon the holy table a murderer's banes and gibbet airns, twa span lang wee unchristened bairns, a thief new cutted for a rape, with his last gasp his gab did gape. Five tomahawks were blood red rusted, five scimitars were murder crusted, a garter which a babe had strangled, a knife a father's throat had mangled, whom his own son o' life bereft, the grey hairs yet stacked to the heft. Wimair o horrible and awful, which even to name would be unlawful. Three lawyers' tongues turned inside out, will eyes seemed like a beggar's clout. Three Priest hearts, rotten, black as muck, lay stinking vile in every nook. As Tammy glowered, amazed and curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious. The piper loud and louder blew, the dancers quick and quicker flew. They reeled, they set, they crossed, they click it, till Ilka Carlin swat and reek it, and coost her duddies to the wark, and link it at it in her sark. Now Tam, oh Tam, had they been queens? Oh, plump and strapping in their teens, their sarks, instead of creasy flannin, been snow white, seventeen hunder linen, their breeks o' oh, mine, my ainly pair, that wants air plush, o' oh, good blue hair, I would again them off my herdies, for a blink o' the bonny birdies. But with the beldams, old and droll, rigwoody hags would spin a fall, loupin' and flingin' on a crummock. I wonder did me turn thy stomach? But Tam kenned what was foo brawly. There was a winsome wench and wally. That night enlisted in the core, lang after kenned on Carrick's shore. For money a beast to dead she shot, and perished money a bonny boat, and shook both meekle corn and beer, and kept the countryside in fear. 
her cutty sack of paisley harn that while a lassie she had worn in longitude though sorely scanty it was her best and she was vaunty ah little ken thy reverend granny that sack she coughed for her wee nanny with twa pound scots twas all her riches would ever graced a dance of witches but here my muse her wing mon core, sick flights are far beyond her power. To sing how nanny lap and flang, a supple jade she was, and strang, and how Tam stood like him bewitched, and thought his very aim enriched. Even Satan glowered, and fidged from fame, and hotched and blew a might and main. Till first I caper sin another, Tam tint his reason all the gather and roars out, <gasps> Well done, Cutty Sark! And in an instant all was dark, and scarcely had he Maggie rallied when out the hellish legion sallied. As bees buzz out with angry fike, when plundering herds assail their break, as open pussies mortal foes, when pop she starts before their nose, as eager runs the market crowd, when catch the thief resounds aloud. So Maggie runs, the witches follow, where Monny and Eldritch screech and hollow. Oh, Tam, oh, Tam, thou get thy fear, and in hell they'll roast thee like a heron. In vain thy Kate awaits thy coming. Kate soon will be a wolf a woman. Now, do thy speedy utmost, Meg, and win the keystain of the brig. There at them thou tail may toss, a running stream they dare na cross. But ere the keystain she could make, the faint a tail she had to shake, for Nanny, far before the rest, hard upon noble Maggie pressed, and flew at Tam with furious ettle. But little wist she Maggie's mettle, I spring brought off her master's hail, and left behind her ain grey tail. The carlin caught her by the rump, and left poor Maggie scarce a stump. Now why this tale, O truth, shall read, ilk man and mother's son, take heed. When e'er to drink you are inclined, or cutty sarks run in your mind, think. You may buy the joys, or dear, remember, Tam O'Shanter's mare.